All right, guys, so it's the holiday season and a lot of stores, brands, and companies are all running their holiday deals right now. And I noticed that the company One More, which is one of my favorite audio companies, is also running a deal on their site all the way up to December the 24th, where you can get pretty much 20 to 25% off everything on their site. And so what I did was I reached out to the company and we talked about it and they decided to even add the code GAMESKEY10 where you can save an additional 10%. So you're looking to save around 35% off on anything on their site. So what I wanted to do was do a video kind of comparing and talking about each one of their true wireless earbuds since obviously that's what my channel focuses on. This is not full on reviews of these earbuds. I will have links in the description if you want to check out the original reviews, but this is kind of like bullet points and comparisons of each one and just to kind of help people maybe have a better idea on which pair might be for them. But let's go ahead and start with the Piston Buds. Now this is the newest pair from One More. It's more of a budget oriented pair because it retails for $50. Although right now with all of the discounts, you can pick them up for 36. That pretty much makes this the best value out there when it comes to the One More True Wireless Earbuds because you're getting a lot for that 36 bucks. Now, some of the things about these is they are available in black or white. This is a very lightweight pair of earbuds. This is a pair that's very comfortable and easy to wear all day. Um, it does have AAC playback and it is also IPX4 rated. So it's not completely waterproof, but you can wear them and not have to worry if they get splashed. Now, as far as the battery life, battery life is definitely on the lower end on these, um, but there are a lot of people that don't wear their earbuds all day. So the battery life on these, you're getting around three and a half hours on the earbuds with around 20 hours total using the case. So if you just use your earbuds for a couple hours at a time, the battery life is not going to be an issue. But the one thing I did find to be an issue, or at least for me, one thing I'm not a huge fan of, are the controls. I don't know why they decided to go with the controls that they did. Now these do use touch controls and the controls work fine as far as that aspect goes, but there's only play, pause, and the ability to summon your smart assistant. So I would have liked to have seen volume control. I would have liked to have seen track control. The fact that you can pull up your voice assistant means you can just tell the earbuds to do what it needs to do, or you could just pull out your phone, but that is a little inconvenient. But as far as the sound of these, this is definitely what makes these worth it. It is a very dynamic sounding earbud. It has a lot of punch in the low end, but there is a lot of brightness in the treble. So you can tell that they boosted the bass, boosted the treble. They left the mids to where it sounds really natural. It didn't feel like they tried to do too much with it, but they definitely didn't leave it where it falls back. And it just sounds great with all genres. And the fact that it's 36 bucks makes the Piston Buds a really excellent gift idea. And so the next pair we're gonna check out is the One More Stylish. Now, originally this pair retailed for $100. Uh, since it's been out a little while, it has dropped down to $80. But with all the discounts and everything right now, you can pick them up for 63 bucks. And I think that's a hell of a deal on this pair. Um, it's available in a bunch of different colors. This has better Bluetooth codec than the Piston Buds because this one has Aptex and AAC playback. Now this pair does not have an official IP rating. So if you are going to be out and about or around water, this is not a pair I would recommend to use in those situations. Now, as far as the battery life, there's definitely a huge boost when it comes to that because the earbuds itself get around six and a half hours, where with the charging case, you're looking to get around 24. Now, they also have a fast charge feature where if you do happen to pick them up and they are dead, a 15 minute charge will get you three hours worth of use. And that's very impressive because you don't see that kind of battery life on a lot of earbuds. Now, as far as the controls on here, I really like the way that they did these. Now, they do use button control, but they place the button on the edge of the earbud. So when you need to change something, you're actually able to push it without feeling like you're jamming them into your ear. Now, as far as the controls themselves go, I'm happy to say that you have control over everything. Now, this is not something that they had on them originally, but they did do some updates and they added volume control, and now it allows you to control everything. 
Now, as far as the sound goes, the sound is absolutely excellent on these. There is a lot of clarity. There's a lot of focus on the mids and the highs. So as far as being able to hear details and subtle things, this is something that the Stylish does very well. Now, the bass has plenty of punch to it, but it is a lot tighter than the Piston Bud. So this pair is built on being a little more detail oriented, and I think it's an excellent pickup for the 63 bucks. Now the next pair that we're gonna check out are the Color Buds. Now I consider these to be the stylish version two. Now this pair normally retails for $100, but right now with all of the discounts, you can pick them up for 72 bucks. Now this pair is available in four different colors. They're mainly like pastel or girly looking colors in my opinion, but you can get them in black. That's the color that I prefer. It just looks a lot more stealthy and cleaner in my opinion. Now the special thing about this pair is it uses a full ranged balanced armature driver. So you can tell with the sound that there is a lot of focus on details. There's a lot of focus on making this sound natural. It's not as over accentuated as some of the other earbuds. And so if you're a, I don't wanna say a purist, but somebody that likes more of a tighter detailed sound, this would probably be the pair that you're interested in. Now these do have Aptex and AAC playback. There is an IPX5 water resistant rating. So this is the one pair that's the safest around water in the one more lineup. But again, this is not a pair that you can submerge into water. And as far as the battery life on these, uh, you're getting around six hours on the earbuds with around 22 hours using the case. And it also has the fast charge feature, but on these, a 15 minute charge is going to get you two hours of use. So you actually lose an hour on the fast charge compared to the original Stylish. Now, as far as the comfort of the earbuds themselves, this is also a very comfortable earbud that I was able to wear for a long period of time. And it's just one of those pairs that never gets uncomfortable. And a huge bonus with these is the earbuds also have a smart sensor. So if you do take them out while you're listening to music, it will auto pause and then it just resumes once you put them back in. Now, as far as the controls on the color buds, this is very similar to the piston buds. It is very limited. It has the play and pause and the ability to summon smart assistant. Again, this is something that I wish they would do differently. Maybe this is something that they can fix in an update. But as far as the controls go, I don't really understand why they hold back. But now as far as the sound goes, like I said earlier, this is the cleanest sounding earbud out of the One More lineup. You can just tell that because of that armature driver, there's a lot of focus on the mids and the highs. So the vocalist sounds a little more upfront. The treble sounds a lot more detailed and cleaner. And the bass, while still having a punch, is still just tightened up a little bit. It doesn't sound loose, it doesn't feel loose, and it's just a very pleasing earbud to listen to. And the fact that you can get this for $72 is a really good deal. So now that brings us to the one more ANC. I would consider this to be their top tier earbud and the fact that it retails for $200 also puts it up at the top. But right now with all of the discounts, this pair you can get for 135, which makes this an incredible deal. Because this pair I compare to the Sony WF-1000 XM3s. I put it up against the Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds. This pair has active noise canceling and it does an excellent job of blocking out your surroundings. So if you're looking for a pair of earbuds that has noise canceling, this is also the first pair of true wireless earbuds that is THX certified. So you don't have to worry about distortion and it has to go through a lot of testing to get that THX certification. So the sound is very natural and pleasing. Although I will say, if you are a bass head, this is definitely the pair that you want out of the One More lineup. There's just a lot of boost in the low end. You can feel that rumble, uh, but it doesn't sacrifice your mids and your highs because the clarity is still there and it's a detail sounding earbud with a lot of thump. Now, some of the other features that it has is it uses dual drivers, it has dynamic drivers mixed with balanced armature drivers, and that's how you're able to get that punchy bass that doesn't affect your mids and your highs. 
Now, as far as the technology that's in here, they do have aptX and AAC playback. And on top of the noise canceling, this is also a pair that has wind noise reduction. So if you're gonna be riding a bike, if you're gonna be running or doing anything outdoors, it's cutting down on the wind affecting your audio, which if you're anybody that uses earbuds outdoors, you will know that wind usually affects the sound. But as far as the battery life on the ANCs, you get six hours on the earbud itself with around 22 hours using the case. Now there is a fast charge feature on this pair as well where a 15 minute charge will get you two hours of use. Now the case on these is different than the other ones on the list because the case is a Qi wireless charging case. So you can come in, drop this case on a wireless charger and it will start charging. Now, as far as the earbuds themselves, I really like the way that they design the controls because you have button control and touch control. So you have the ability to switch between the different noise canceling modes and you have the control over everything. So you have your play, pause, skipping your tracks forward and backwards, and even volume control, and it's all on the earbud itself. Now these also have the smart sensors, so if you are listening to something and you do need to take your earbuds out, it will auto pause your music and then it just resumes once you put them back in. Now this pair does have an ambient mode, which is also different than the other pairs on the list. So if you do want to switch it into ambient mode, it will pull in your surroundings. That way you can hear things and not actually have to take your earbuds out. But the one thing that makes these my favorite on the list is definitely the sound. I am a bass head, so I love the bass that these produce, but I also love the clarity that these focus on as well. And again, being able to pick these up for $135 makes this a pair that I would easily recommend for anyone, especially if you want noise canceling or you like a dynamic sound or you like to be able to feel bass. Uh, you don't have to sacrifice on battery life. And that Qi wireless charging case is very convenient. But guys, that wraps up my video on the One More True Wireless Earbuds. I think I'm gonna have to do this with some other brands as well. Brands are coming out with so many pair of True Wireless Earbuds that it kinda makes it hard to know which one you may be interested in without having to watch a ton of different videos on each product. Again, this is not the full review. I will have review links in the description if you do wanna check those out. But I also will have a link to one more site and don't forget to check them out before December the 24th. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.